The job today is the job we're always threading. Farmers are always threading. Where are you off to, cat? No, oh, that one doesn't get off me. Yeah, and that is we're putting our cows in. Me and the cold, well, we're not putting them in the day, but we have a lot of work on the next couple of days, and we've got a bit of free time this morning, and we're just going to take into this now and have Nicole to do a bit of camera work for me. First thing we have to do is start. Oh, I don't know where you start, but you just start somewhere. So we may start taking some of this machinery out. We move the rake man up to the other shed. Um, the hedge cutter stay in there because, well, it's not the sort of thing you put on just to move. It's something you put on to leave on. And it will be going on in a couple of days' time. But I still have a little bit of slurry to put out from these tanks. And I want to get that done first because the slurry ban is going to be here now in a couple of days' time. So we need to get everything just completely finished off with. And then when that's finished, Sorry, tank will be parked up for the winter. Hedge cutter will be on for a few weeks while we start into our hedges. We have to put all our timbers back onto the barriers. We have to check all our drinkers. Plenty of work, and there's only one way of getting it done. Let's get at it.
And it's a very simple barrier. You're not going to see many with this. All right. Uh, it's a very, very simple design, but you know what? It works really well with our cows. The only thing maybe is, when it's low, kind of like that, maybe cows rub the back of their neck on it and sometimes they get a little bit of a lump on the back of their neck. Just the odd one, but it never does any harm. This house will need work done next year. It'll do this winter, but them cubicles, there's a lot of rot coming on the bottom of them. That one there is starting to move over to the side. You can see the way it's tilting over just the base starting to go on them. Probably next summer, I'll invest a few pounds into this here and put probably a new set of cubicles in. They have been good, they serve the job well, but now the time next year is probably to replace them. Uh, we have the machinery all gone here now, so we have to put the timbers back in these two here. I'm not moving that more just yet, because I've one field over into the farm at the top yet where the heifers is, that kind of heavy cover. Well, they have that well skint now, but there's now kind of a dead grass on it. I'll be topping that. It's given an Indian summer next week it's not looking like it on my phone but people say it is and there's a crack in there there now so if it dries up a little bit i'll get in there and give it a real good shave let the cattle come along then and clean up whatever's laying on top of it and leave it in good shape for the winter time This barrier next division gate. Uh, it has to go over there. Sit. I have a chain somewhere that was around that. Just at the place where I put it, but it's there somewhere. Let me go around it and tie to that cubicle and that is that sorted. Another thing I'll do off camera is I'll grease all the rollers and the doors and grease all the latches um, and then make sure they're all just free and working, simple little things. Uh, I have to go around all the cubicles. I know of a few things I have to fix. Like these things here are starting to break and I have a good few of them. I've got a couple of square ones here. I'm going to try to see can I get a few more of them. Hard to get these. I couldn't get the original ones so I'll have to try and get a couple more of them square ones and put them in over there too. There's another one broken. And they play a vital role. They keep the cows back from going up too far. They also hold the cubicles together, strengthen the whole cubicles up. So that one's gone as well. So you can see the play now that's in it because that bar is not secure. So that has to be fixed as well. Last year, the year before, I done a little bit of a video on these mats. And I showed you how much the cows like to eat them. And yes, that's not where, that's it with the cows. Whatever sort of a mat these are, it seems to be very tasty to the animals because any mat we've ever got, we've never had that happen before. It's no difference whether it's heifers or cows, they all seem to like to eat these mats. So it's an unusual one, but look at, that's what happens. So we're not gonna go out and pull them all out now. What we're gonna do is we're gonna replace probably these three. I have four new mats that I picked up just there now, a few minutes ago in our local co-op. I literally went down and whatever mat they had, I was gonna take home with me. I'm gonna move these ones, get rid of these three anyway. These two are all right, so I might move one of those up. It's just chop and change them around and we might end up having a decent set of mats in the house. These ones here, well, if you remember me talking about them before, the issue with them is, now this section here is a bit dirtier than the rest of the house because any cows that were in for AI, we used to ship them around here and just let them stand in here for a while till our AI man had come. Um, and that's why, hence the reason, there's a bit of dirt here. But this section here, these mats are notorious for holding dirt. Just simply because of the finish that's on them. The dirt rests in here and then they're ferocious, hard to clean. They get really thick with muck and don't like them. Don't like the finish that's on them. But we might be able to do something with that. The underside is different. And if we actually lift these brackets, flip them over and we see how they do the other way around, that might solve our problem completely. But when we were putting these in, the recommendations was uh, this is the way they're supposed to be facing up, so. 
Now, these look light. Trust me. Anything but light. They're a savage weight. Way heavier than even the ones we're after getting. Let's just turn them over. So that's the first one done. Let's get the rest of them done. Well, we have them turned over. They are heavy yokes, heavy as heavy can be, just pure dead weight. But there's them turned over. I'll have to wash a couple of them down. You'll always get bits of muck that'll be underneath the mats, and it'll always keep it kind of damp as well. The air never really gets in to dry out. But that's them turned over. I'd say they'll work better rather than throwing them out and replacing them all. Sure, it's worth a try. What harm is it just to try them out? Um, now I'm going to bolt these all back down again. I'm going to lift up a couple of these here, and we're going to fit a few of our new mats. hours later yeah two and a half hours we've been rooting at this myself and Nicole we have them in and that's them all sorted there now we've a few just to fix at the very end there we need to get bolts tomorrow which is Sunday so we probably have to wait till Monday before we can get them bits so we space here and uh, what I'm gonna do with that is well this is the old mats that are good for nothing but this one here is all right so I'm gonna cut a strip out of that one there and we'll just get the right amount just to fit in there just use bolts to hold the thing down and you know what that will leave it okay the cubicles we have sorted now as well that was a task on its own we can't get these little u clamps anymore not the right ones to fit here so we're trying to modify ones that don't really fit and we fitted one just here it's not as wide as the bar so we have to bend it out and then we have to bend it back in again, just kind of shape it and then drill out the holes so that they fit, but we have them on there now. So I'm just emptying the drinkers here. And here's the drinker that has been leaking. Quite a while now, it's up the valve. See the way it just keeps running the whole time. Now I can press it really hard and it will stop it. So what I done was I took it apart and I changed this little guy here. You can buy these little inserts, you can buy these little rubbers as well. Sometimes they go hard very common for them to go hard and then your drinker will do exactly what it's doing there but I did change that just there now for a new one and it made no difference the next thing it can be is just, just a spare one I have here is this little cone could be worn inside and that could be causing it or there could be a stone stuck in there and sometimes if the stone's coming out ever so slightly through the hole it won't seal right so it's hoping not to have to do it because it's an awkward little spot but we'll have to take this thing apart and see can we sort it that removes our ball valve. Listen, listen, you pop you. There we are. See what's sitting there? That is a stone right there. And you see where the hole is all opened up? That's what it should be like here. You can see? You can see that that one's all pressed out, so that is our problem right there. So that's it, it's fixed. 
drinker fills to the right height. Had to put a little bend on the valve. I put a new valve stem on there, but I put a little bend upwards on it here so it would fill a little bit fuller than it was. But now, when she stops, she stops properly. So what I'll do now is I'll clean that drinker back out again. And that is all the other drinkers all working. No leaks. Job's a good one. stop very quick. I wasn't going to stop when I was putting in the bales. But look at the bales. That is probably the nicest bale I've ever opened. Lovely. Really happy to see that because bales can be a hit and miss. You put you in good form to see your first bale opening. Been as good as that with zero mould or waste. So now I'm back in the shed. I'm just looking at my invisible watch and I know I have to be in a school run in less than five minutes. But I wanted to just show you the silage before the cows went in. I'm very, very happy with that stuff. It's not too dry either. There's moisture in it. You can feel it in your hand and everything, but the smell of it is divine. Lovely stuff. Mats, there we are. I'm just after finishing them there now. I didn't fill them anymore because time is of the essence and I just had to keep the head down and get the thing done but all the mats is in there now I actually had a bit of another mat left over in the other shed from four years ago when we put our mats into it and that wee strip was left it had all the teeth on it because it's an interlocking mat so I just cut the teeth off slid it over again these mats and it blended in just nicely and there's the other three old mats just turned upside down and you know what spot on but that's it the house is ready the silage is in I'm going to go and do a school run and we pick this up when we're finished milking. Just as I'm finished my evening's milking, guess what? They're in. They're after getting a lot of grass today, so not that particularly hungry. But they're liking the silage, as you can see there. <laughs> that speaks for itself. The other batch, and they're digging in as well. So that's it, it's officially winter time. <laughs> can we say that now? It pretty much is. We're right in it now. Tonight is giving it to be really cold, probably one of the coldest nights of the year, and it's feeling like it, although I'm in a t-shirt because I'm running from place to place, it's keeping me warm. It's not warm, it's definitely a lot cooler than you imagine. But they're in a very busy day, I'm absolutely wrecked. There's no way of saying it, I am absolutely wrecked. My kids are in a football match, so I'd love to get to the scene, but there wasn't a hope of getting anywhere near. But anyway, all in's well, when all's in and all's happy. 
two biggies are finished, I won't have to touch the sheds at all. Tomorrow, they're all done now and jobs are all complete. Tomorrow, it's gonna be another busy one. I've loads of fencing to do. Sticks to get cut and blocked up. So we have some heat for the winter time. And then we have a hair test coming up as well. So it's gonna be a busy time. Anyway, folks, for myself and the girls, catch you in the next one. <laughs>